today. This is Iram Saeed with From Heartache to Joy and Bliss Up. Joining me today, I'm so excited, is our returning guest speaker. Several times we've had her for many, many years, Nidhu B. Kapoor. She is so awesome, one of my favorite people to interview because, first of all, she's really wise. Her knowledge is absolutely amazing. Her tools are not just amazing, they get results fast. And they're just so much fun because she really is a believer of getting results fast. Uh, her decrees are really uh, the, they're tru- truly the quickest language of alchemy, taking heavy energies and transforming them into gold likeness in seconds. You are only required to say a word or a sentence or just hear it. And today's in today's call, your belly will start to suck in on its own. That flatter belly, that's the secret to feeling good and confident. Our topic today is flatter belly boost. Make that midlife flab a thing of the past in seconds. How exciting is that? The worst thing you are doing right now without knowing it, that is piling on the pounds and making your belly protrude. What is that? Let's find out. Your menopausal weight gain has nothing to do with menopause. The power of a flatter belly can be yours in seconds and minutes. Workout results in seconds without having to work out. I love that. No energy, motivation, or bandwidth to exercise? That's not a problem. Sort out your midlife belly and body with just one word. Feel good and confident. Literally in seconds, you will see this on the call today. 11 shocking truths about a flabby belly and what to do about it in seconds. Get that confident, flatter belly and feel like a million bucks by just saying one word. How easy. It doesn't get any easier than that, really. Um, and here's here's even more exciting stuff that we're going to be doing today. In the group process, um, Nidu is going to lead us through flatter belly in seconds, and you can experience that uh, in the call itself. And the de- uh, as I said, the decrees are the quickest language of alchemy, and it'll take seconds. And then she will also be taking callers to do mini one-on-one activations, one-minute belly workout without working out for um, whoever she's connecting with. And inside, insight into what is their pet belly trying to protrude because it can be different things for different people. I am so excited. I can't wait to get on this call and really connect with people and find out what's causing their bellies to protrude and, and hopefully mine too. I'll, I'd like to find that out. Um, for those of you that have not worked with Nidu before or haven't heard her, She's the only practitioner in the world doing five-minute lightning speed sessions. Nidhu Kapoor is owner and sharer of the world's fastest, simplest, easiest transformative alchemy, the decrees, a language of alchemy where manifestations take place at the speed of thought and word, just by saying some words. There's nothing faster than this in the world. Deep and complete healing work takes anywhere from eight months to three years, But with the decrees, it takes seconds, minutes, weeks, and just a few months. Changes in body shape, flatter bellies, higher energy levels, food cravings naturally gone, better lifestyles, owning up our inherent beauty and power and significantly reduced worries are happy organic side effects. And all of this happens in seconds and minutes. Speedster is Nidu's middle name, and thousands of people around the world vouch for her swift results, her unique insights into the problem, like our midlife stubborn belly crisis in today's case, and her ability to work with the cosmic energies of retrograde, retrograde planets, moon cycles, the energies of each particular day, and bring about an alchemy of the latent energies into gold. The incredible results in a tough period like perimenopausal, menopausal, and midlife weight speak to this alchemy, and we will experience this magic for ourselves on the call itself in seconds and minutes, which is a promise of the decrees. And Nidu, welcome, my dear friend. Welcome back to the show. 
Thank you so much, Aram. It is such a joy to be here always. Hi, everybody. I, good morning, good evening. Where I am, it is more than good evening. So wherever you yeah. are. <laughs> hello, hello, you hello. You and I are almost in the time zone. Yeah, we're almost in the same time zone. It's definitely past dinner time, but that's okay because the topic... I am. I was so excited. I couldn't wait. Um, Nidu, I'd like you to just maybe a quick two-minute version. I did tell people about the decrees, but, you know, we, we're adding more people always to our list, so there might be people that haven't heard you before. So the magic of decrees, how do they work? And then what made you, um, what made you decide to do the program on this particular uh, issue? Why should you know, why should anyone take flabbiness seriously? I'm so glad you asked. And always delighted to let everybody know about the magical alchemy of the decree. So the decrees are a language. It is spoken in English, but it is a particular language of light. So not a light language, but a language of light where we use words one word or two words or three words, maximum four words. And these words work across your conscious mind, subconscious mind, unconscious mind, and the superconscious mind. These are working at the speed of light, which is even faster than the speed of thought. And then you can ask result- you something. Yes, of course. Like, who came up with these words? Or or have you engineered some kind of energy into these words? Oh, lovely question. So, these words have an existing power. But the way we combine the usage of these words is giving them an extra power. They were given to me. I love the word engineered. In fact, I often call them a technology. So, they're not a technique. They're not affirmations. They're not something I'm going to give you to say 30 times a day for 30 days and 60 days. They are a technology because they work at the speed of light and they were given to me. I remember it was, and it was in fact uh, one of our earlier calls as well, Aram, when, when we worked on Saturn's decrees, which was the first set of decrees that came. And I remember the first time this sentence was given to me And these things started happening in my body. Like I felt my skin flushing. I felt my heart beat a little faster. And I felt something move in my belly. And I was like, what just happened? What was this? What was this sentence in my head? And from (laughs) there, the sentence, the explanation of the sentence, the usage of the sentence, why that sentence was given, what that sentence was meant for, started flowing in. And from there till today, we have, like when we started, there were four sentences. Now we have 75. We have one word, we have two words, we have three words, we have four words. And because they're a technology, because there is an engineering already in them, they are constantly evolving. So even if you have been on a flatter belly workshop with me, you're still going to experience it even faster than those than those done before. Like even that time it was in seconds, and now it's going to be in nanoseconds. I'm going to be using just one word. So I will say that they were also a gift to me, and not that my life was not already changing, because once you're interested in healing, once you're committed to being better, doing better, knowing better, things open up anyway. But the decrees have been a complete game changer. You know, one of the things I always say about healing is that healing is not just about getting what you want. Healing is about the ability to do better every time, every minute, every second. So whether it's your geezer not working, and you not losing your head over it, whether it's a presentation you have to make, whether it's unexpected guests, whether it's a delayed flight, whether it's babies crying on flight, healing is something that needs to be available to you at 
every point. Because what you do every day is what builds up to make your month, your year, your life. You know, it's the small drops in the ocean. And with the decrees, it's really simple. Like even on today's call, once you understand what the word is and how it's working, you're going to be able to use it throughout. You're going to be able to use it for anything that you want. I will also say, because they're so simple, it is always best to be part of a group that is continuously working on them. But healing has to be simple. It has to be easy. It has to be something that you can apply no matter what the situation is. And splatter belly became a situation for me. I entered perimenopause quite some years back, and then menopause happened. So my midlife happened, and my midlife crisis happened. But I want to tell you a little bit about how my life was before that. Like, I have spent years sleeping for four hours, working out in the morning, including like a 12-kilometer run, including swimming, including stationary sets, working out in the evening, having a job to do, having a child to raise single-handedly. Oh that's, my God. The kind of, yeah, that's the kind of energy level I've had. In fact, I used to be very proud of the fact that the two things I never said in my life until perimenopause and menopause happened, the two things I have never said in my life are, I am never tired. I did not know what tired meant. I had no idea. And the second was, I don't know what boredom is. I did not understand these two words. And then when perimenopause began, and, and you know, perimenopause, it, it's, not, it's not one year. It's not two years. Perimenopause takes place anywhere between 7 to 15 years. So it creeps up on you because the adjustments in the body are so gigantic that they cannot take place in a short span of time. They take place slowly. It's like the body preparing you. And I remember the first time I had a sense of exhaustion. I was more shocked than anything else. And, and because I said, oh, this is what tiredness is because you know, life will also make you experience what you don't really know. Like life will bring you knowledge. And quite a few things in my life I have seen and I've understood that, that they've happened because I had to have this knowledge. I had to learn something. So I just put it down to, okay, I got to know what this tiredness is. I've had this big ego. I've never been tired. I don't know what tired is. I don't know what my friends mean when they say they're too tired. I have to learn the humility of tiredness. And then, a few months later, it happened over a couple of days. A year mm. later, it happened over a week. And I could feel mm. this tiredness growing. And along mm. with the tiredness came a demotivation. Now, this demotivation in perimenopause is a very different kind of demotivation because in perimenopause, no matter how active you have been, and the closer you get to menopause, this gets stronger. The closer you get to mm. your midlife, this gets stronger. It doesn't matter how much energy you have had. It matters that you have the motivation to do something, but that also reduces. There is a demotivation in that exhaustion that doesn't make us want to do any kind of exercise. In fact, we start looking for the easy solution. Like if we can put mm -hmm. it off till next year, we'll put it off till next year. That's the kind mm -hmm. of procrastination that can show up in perimenopause, menopause, midlife time. And we can keep beating ourselves up, you know, but I had so much energy. I mean, I have, I have traveled one and a half hours for a one and a half hours yoga class, finished the class, traveled back one and a half hours and gone to work. And I would be like, um, and my teacher, my teacher would say, where are you? You were doing this. You're not showing up now. And my teacher's in her 30s. So I was like, you'll know in, in the next 15 years. <laughs> the, the desire to not move, 
becomes very strong. Mm -hmm. At the same time, mm -hmm. I knew that every good piece of health I have today, I had till then, came because of my active lifestyle. My constantly mm -hmm. active lifestyle. And in fact, the godfather of fitness, Jack Lalanne, Jack Lalanne spoke about how the only killer in your life is inactivity. And Jack mm. Lalanne, by the way, is, he passed away at 96, exercising till his 90s. And if you see his body in the 70s and 80s, your jaw will drop. The flat belly, mm. the V shape, the biceps, the triceps, incredible. And, and I knew that my body needs movement. Everybody does. Bodies are designed for movement. They are designed for pleasure. They are designed for procreation. But movement is number one. Whether you are male, hunter, gatherer, and going out in the world, whether you are woman, feeder, breeder, at home, activity, movement is a must. So I knew, first of all, that I have to find a solution. And I have to find a solution that does not punish me. You can, because you will push yourself. You will push yourself onto that diet. You will push yourself to that gym. You will push yourself to class. And then you are unable to sustain it the way you could once sustain it. Because here's the worst thing you can do in perimenopause, menopause, and midlife. Pushing, of course, not recommended at all. But the worst thing you can do is to have a weight release goal. I'll tell you why. Your goal at this time has to be to not put on weight. You see, in that exhaustion that comes, where your energy has dipped, your bandwidth has dipped, your motivation has definitely dipped. In that, if you push yourself, you're going to put so much pressure on your stress response. And stress response is the cortisol hormone. It's the fight and flight system in the body. The moment you've got your cortisol levels going up, but you're not moving the body because cortisol works with adrenaline. Both of them move the body. You're not moving, but your cortisol levels are going up when you push yourself. So your weight will expand. And in perimenopause, menopause, midlife, and I, I use the word midlife because that's the version of the men's perimenopause and menopause, because every human being perimenopauses and menopauses. The moment you've got this excessive, hyper-alert, hyper-vigilant, unable to relax, unable to sit down quietly, system in the body, the buildup that takes place is of fat. In any case, mm. at this point in our lives, we were designed to move inward. We were not mm. designed to go out in the world. We were designed to start contemplating on the bigger truths of life. And this mm. is a 200 million year old program. Women have started going mm. to work in the last 50, 80 years. When you compare it to 250 million, it's no comparison. Evolution mm -hmm. takes time. Our brain today, our frontal cortex, which separates us from the animal, took 6,000 years. We have taken 6,000 years to be who we are today. 80 years of women going to work is not enough to change our system genetically, which meant we needed another solution, that we are up against a, a ancient program that says, at this particular age, in your mid-40s, mid-50s, definitely mid-60s, you have got to slow down and not do as much as you were doing. Like, I'm sure, Aram, you will agree, this is not possible for us. I cannot imagine doing lesser work. I'm sure you can't. But the desire is there to do lesser work. So what happens? Mm -hmm. The moment we are procrastinating, the moment we are so exhausted we can't really do anything, we start pushing ourselves. The excess weight mm. that happens at this point is part of the 200 million design for our human body. 
and therefore it will happen it is meant for you to take it easy i didn't want to take it easy i work 16 hours a day 18 hours a day i love it but i started oh. finding ways to balance that out maybe not 16 hours maybe 12 maybe 8 i started finding ways to make sure that that i had enough rest time in rest time meaning i'm not doing anything i had enough rest four hours of sleep was okay once upon a time now i need more than that giving it to myself oh. but the weight gain the body spread that takes place is because when the body switches to midlife the kidney function slows down our kidneys are responsible for our fight and flight and also for muscle tone as your muscle tone is dipping because of the switch that has happened in the body the body starts spreading your biggest goal has to be to arrest the body spread we panic and we say i'm looking so big i'm looking so fat i'm feeling so heavy i've got to shed weight but shedding weight back fires very quickly as it is if you don't have a sustained system of nutrition of diet of exercise of lifestyle of support support is very important we usually miss out this this part when it comes to shedding weight and keeping it off but when when these functions have slowed down in the body and the the lockdown that took place there was an isolation mm-hmm. there was a loneliness there was a lack of support system a lack of physically meeting people touching people hugging people holding people even shaking hands holding hands and all of this made our kidneys react faster i have no doubt that quite a few of us stepped out of the lockdown feeling older and jaded because the kidneys mm-hmm. worked a certain way this spread needs to be arrested before you can move to a weight release program and i put on about i put on 5 pounds which is 10 kilos which is a lot for my body frame my body frame is not petite medium but 10 kilos is a lot those 5 pounds i shed no exercise no diet and by the way wow. if you see the food i eat you will be <laughs> well you'll have you'll have a few things to say to me and using the decrease and organically being led to certain solutions increasing the water intake i shed the 5 pounds and realized i'm not feeling so great i'm not feeling as great as i was when i was 5 pounds lighter so i put back 2 pounds and now i'm okay i fit into my 20 year old favorite denim skirt and jeans and Oh. I I will also say this on one of my earlier programs which was dedicated to perimenopause and menopause one of the things I ask everybody to do is you know all of us have these clothes in our cupboard that we think we're going to fit into and those clothes have been there for quite some time you got to take those clothes out but keep the ones that are dear to you like my my 20 year old denim denim these particular this skirt and this particular jean very dear to me they represented a certain stage of my life i didn't want to let them go and i didn't to fit into them is a joy and pleasure you can have as well you will have some clothes that you will want to fit into like like heidi heidi fit in to a dress that she thought was going to be tight it wasn't and heidi by the way she says she's in her 50s but everybody tells her she's 35 heidi also using the decrease on a call itself in minutes had her cellulite reduced by 30% and 50% from her arms and thighs that's how quickly it works so arresting your body body weight but arresting it how if you notice your midlife spread your perimenopause menopause spread is in your torso it's in your core before your thighs expand before your hips expand before your chest feels heavier it is the section from the upper chest 
to below the belly button that shows the maximum spread. Yes, I think everybody will agree. Yeah, that I do. Yeah, that this is your core. When your core is not okay, how can the rest of you be okay? And over mm. here are 34 muscles. The entire body, human body, has 640 muscles. Skeletal muscles, which are the muscles we work on when we go to the gym. The core has 34. The beauty of these 34 muscles in the core is that when you get them working, the signals they send to your legs, to your arms, to your shoulders, to your back, makes them also start exercising. And when I say exercising, I don't mean you're going to the gym. I mean you exercising where you are right now. Like if you're in your pajamas right now, if you're in your bed right now, your hair is must right now, you are unbathed, unshaved, it doesn't matter. When you experience the decrease, as we will now, you will have the experience of the exercise taking place in the body. You will know how the body is responding, which muscle needs more work, and you will also understand what's going on in your belly. A flabby belly Beautiful. is a belly that says, I don't care anymore. It's, it's, a, it's mm. a belly that says, I'm defeated. It's a belly that says, mm. I've given up. It's a belly that says, you know what? I know power and all of that, but that was in my youth. That was when I was twen my 20s. I don't believe it will happen again. A flabby belly means your core is not okay. If your core is not okay, then you are also not attracting all the other great things in your life. When your core is okay, you also end up being a money magnet. You end up being an opportunity magnet. You end up being a soulmate magnet because attractiveness is attractiveness. And when we have this torso behaving a certain way, we don't feel good, we don't feel attractive, we don't feel confident. And everybody, I would like to take for granted because I know you all have been on these calls with Aram, you know the law of attraction. How you feel as within, so without. You will attract mm -hmm. how you are not what you want. When you have a good day, it's because you were feeling good. When you have a bad day, <clears throat> it's because you were feeling negative. When you have a low day, it's because you were feeling low. When you have a good day, yeah. bad things, low things show up. They don't affect you as much. Imagine now your life, because perimenopause, midlife, menopause is telling you what's coming in the next phase of your life. The last thing you want to do so is exciting. give up. Yeah, Absolutely. that is so exciting. Absolutely. There's a lot of yeah. comments on the webcast. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, and it will be great if you guys can hop on over to the phone lines and then raise your hand by pressing star 2 because that's what we're going to be doing in a little bit because a lot of people are asking, I have weight here, I have weight there, uh, what's causing it, and that's what we're going to look into. Now, Nidu, just really quickly, I know you've shared your story, which, thank you so much, was so interesting and very inspiring. You only needed to lose five pounds. What if someone needs to lose more, 10, 15, 20, then what? In, in material, it will still work, but anything you want to manifest in your life, anything you want to make happen in your life, you have got to have a sportsman spirit. You have to have mm -hmm. a sportsman attitude. You know, it, mm. it's like Serena, Serena Williams. Mm -hmm. She said, mm -hmm. I have spent many hours on a court waiting for my one moment in time not knowing when it would come yeah. when you are yeah. dedicated to something you got to be dedicated to it you being dedicated to your better belly your better torso your better core your better health your better life means that you will live it eat it drink it breathe it dress it put lipstick on it and mm. step out it Beautiful. Cannot be, I love it. Yeah, it cannot be something that you do piecemeal. 
it cannot be something that you do oh you know what i've been trying to do this but let me have let me binge today i'll begin my diet on monday this is one one favorite thing right we begin everything on monday everything gets pushed to monday and mm-hmm. and with the decrease you will find that you are organically making healthier choices you're sleeping better organically your hand is going towards the fruit not the cake organically you are having the energy to exercise i beautiful. am and exercising. i know that one of your Sorry. oh that's beautiful i know one of <laughs> your i was watching the video testimonial of one of your clients and she actually she's talking in kilograms which she said 20 close to 20 which is more than 40 pounds so that was super exciting for me i am actually ready to start talking to people or do you want to do the group process first what do you yes. how do you want to proceed i want to do the group process i want to do the group process okay. because first you know you know how it is when you when you begin a program you want the whole group to be doing it together because that supports everybody how whatever your reaction is your presence here and in doing it supports everybody part of the sportsman spirit Beautiful. is to have your team and today each of you is the other person's team like awesome. in a proper workout do it. every workout mm-hmm. must begin with a warm up i am going to give mm-hmm. you a 1 second warm up tell me how mm-hmm. it made you feel you can sit you can stand you can lie down lying down is really nice because when you're lying down your body is not doing any other work and it can just respond to the decrees the decrees are commands so the, it will just respond to the command and while lying down you will feel your body working out your muscle will automatically start contracting your legs might automatically come up a little bit your body might automatically arch a little bit your spine will lengthen automatically all all on its own you are not using your bandwidth you don't have to think of motivation so everybody have some water gently lie down if you've just eaten then make sure that your upper back is at a slight incline because you don't want the food to come back up if you are sitting and you are comfortable sitting sit with complete support complete support means your entire spine is supported so you are not hunched over a table you can you can have your back to your chair sofa wall wherever you are but be absolutely comfortable have a few sips of water okay and and your warm up will begin in 3 2 1 with this you're going to take your index finger any index finger left or right index finger is the one next to the thumb it's the easiest to write with you're going to put your index finger in your belly button everybody finger in belly button please from your belly button you will trace down till your groin an exclamation mark so you will draw a line from your belly button down and you will just press it like the dot at the end of the exclamation mark please try it and see what happens immediately we're going to do a 5 okay. second warm up right something's already shifting on its own 5 second warm up means mm-hmm. we will do five exclamation mark from the belly button so one more time please but give it a moment so do it hang on a second let your body react third time fourth time your last warm up fifth time when you're lying down you may be able to realize this better but by the time you would have gotten to the third or fourth or the fifth the upper half of your belly so there's the upper belly there's the lower belly your upper belly may have also had a reaction eram how are you with the warm up i'm good i just feel warmth spreading excellent that's the whole In point the of a warm up because the, yeah the warm up yeah. is to make sure your metabolism kicks in 
your blood flow has increased. Remember what I said right at the very beginning? It has to do with our kidneys. That switch happens in our kidneys. And now, without addressing your belly, I am going to say the decrease for your kidney, and I want you to tell me what happens. It will not take me more than one and a half minutes. All years to the decrease. Kidneys. Kidneys. Hello, kidneys. My kidneys. Your kidneys. My kidneys. Your kidneys. The kidneys. The kidneys. The kidneys. Perfect kidneys. Perfect kidneys. Perfect kidneys. Excellent kidneys. Excellent kidneys. Excellent kidneys. Superb kidneys. Superb kidneys. Superb kidneys. The perfect kidneys. The excellent kidneys. The superb kidneys. Round one, complete. Take a couple of moments. Please allow the body to shift, shake, do whatever it's doing. You might automatically find that there is a shuddering happening or there is something working out like your belly is automatically crunching. Let it happen. I'm going to give you 20 seconds. Round two begins. Goodbye, dystrophy. Goodbye, dystrophy. Goodbye, dystrophy. Goodbye, contractions. Goodbye, contractions. Goodbye, contracted. Goodbye, shortening. Goodbye, shortening. Goodbye, shortening. Goodbye, flabbiness. Goodbye, flabbiness. Goodbye, flabbiness. I'm going to give you 10 more seconds. Round two is complete. Starting round three, it's not so flabby. It's not so flabby. It's not so flabby. It's not so fat. It's not so fat. It's not so fat. It's not so heavy. It's not so heavy. It's not so heavy. Take another 10 seconds. Before I go to round four and five, five seconds of the warm-up again. So from belly button, moving down in a straight line, exclamation mark. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. 
how are you doing please take your time if you are lying down do not force yourself to get up when you are ready to get up you will turn gently to one side and when you do you will see how your muscle is holding you in how your sense of compactness in your core is there you will also have a sense of your entire body you know when when we have the flabbiness when we have the excessive perimenopause menopause midlife weight gain we are not fully connected from top to bottom but you will have a sense of a longer body deeper in your body take your time tell me how you're doing before we go into rounds 4 and 5 <clears throat> I'm feeling very 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 sleepy I would ask you to close your eyes <laughs> please close your eyes Aram you will need water Okay let me give you the reason for the sleepy reaction. Mm -hmm. One of the things you also mentioned there Ram we would do on the call is is to understand that what's going on in menopause and midlife has nothing to do with menopause and midlife. It has to do mm -hmm. with older unresolved trauma. Our bellies mm. protrude depending on how much we've been hugged. if you have okay. not been hugged enough the belly will protrude more if you oh. have been hugged by those you didn't feel safe with the belly will expand like everybody's belly doesn't protrude like some people's belly expands sideways yeah, it expands mhm mm but it so has true. to do with how yeah how much you have not been hugged i mean the the belly is the gentlest but the most powerful part in our core because the belly digests life and life is easier to digest when somebody is there to hug you when you don't have that hugger then there are various kinds of fat that show up in the body the unloved fat the loneliness fat the stress fat the boredom fat and the inflammatory fat there are various fats that show up and each one of you all would have responded to one of these fats and that's how you would know that's what's going on in your midriff right now sleepiness mm -hmm. is when the body is processing so rapidly the mind can't keep up so mm -hmm. so the body knows that I, i i must put my conscious mind to sleep but eram you will close your eyes and in a few minutes you'll be up you'll have a glass of water and you will feel more active you know the okay the okay and in fact everybody can take a few minutes because you've just experienced This something so revolutionary yeah yeah you've just worked out without working out you've just exercised without exercising you lifted one finger that's it Mm. Wow. Wow, that is really amazing. You want to take a minute? Eram, I will do round 4 and 5 also. I'm actually good. I'm I no no, please go ahead. <laughs> Super. Everybody ready for round 4 and 5? Awesome. Okay. We will begin again. with the 5 second warm up please exclamation mark from your belly to lower from belly to lower from belly to lower two more times please from belly downward from belly downward round 4 and 5 is for the fat itself goodbye stress fat goodbye stress fat goodbye stress fat goodbye loneliness fat goodbye loneliness fat goodbye loneliness fat goodbye loneliness fat goodbye 
loneliness fat. Goodbye, boredom fat. Goodbye, boredom fat. Goodbye, boredom fat. Goodbye, inflammation fat. Inflammation fat takes place when you've lived with stress over a very long period of time. Inflammation fat carries anger, hatred, jealousies. Goodbye, inflammation fat. Goodbye, inflammation fat. Goodbye, inflammation fat. Goodbye, self-loathing fat. Goodbye, self-loathing fat. Goodbye, self-loathing fat. Goodbye, self-loathing fat. Goodbye, unloved fat. Goodbye, unloved fat. Goodbye, unloved fat. Goodbye, unloved fat. Giving you all 10 seconds before round five. Slimmer and trimmer embodied. Slimmer and trimmer embodied. Slimmer and trimmer embodied. Skinny fitter embodied. Skinny fitter embodied. Skinny fitter embodied. Taller and stronger embodied taller and stronger embodied taller and stronger embodied flatter firmer belly embodied flatter firmer belly embodied flatter firmer belly embodied Torso, alchemized. Belly, alchemized. Core, alchemized. Body, alchemized. Health, alchemized. Life, alchemized. Your five rounds of workout are done. Please take your time. When you're ready, the first thing you will do is get up gently and have some water. And by some water, I mean a full glass of water. Tell me how your torso is. Tell me how your core is doing. Tell me about the heat in the body. Tell me if you're sweating. Tell me if you feel like stretching, like putting your arms up. Tell me if you felt in the middle of it all, like getting up and walking like moving your body. Energies are flowing in the body, flowing, healing, detoxing, flowing and 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 detoxing, 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 fat, metabolizing, fat, metabolizing, energy level, Upgrading, kidney functions, restored, restored, restored.
until I find out how you are doing. I want to tell you that the only bad workout is the one you didn't do. In perimenopause, menopause, midlife, we feel like we can't do it. And it is correct because the exhaustion is real. The lack of motivation, energy, it is real. And yet, some activity is required. Some sense of movement in the body is required. Like Aram, like me, I have no doubt that each and every one of you all also have very active lifestyles or want to do that much more in the world. There's no reason why you can't. Evolution is going to take some time to catch up, but till then, we have the decrees. Please hydrate completely and check how you're feeling. Era. Oh my God! I fell asleep. Oh. Were you Were you calling out? I just one time, and just now, and you responded immediately. Oh wow! And I'm wide awake now. Awesome! That is amazing. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, wow. What did you, whoa. I feel so refreshed. But I was in deep sleep. Wow. This was just, this was wild. They do, <laughs> this has never happened on a live call. And here I am fast asleep. Wow. This was fantastic. I would love to hear from everybody else also. What did you guys feel? I want to hear from you guys, too, because I was like, whew. Uh, <clears throat> Diana said, uh, I feel great. My body is actually moving a lot. Teresa said, my body is wanting to walk. Thank you so much. That is great. Um, <laughs> Berlin said, I'm actually sweating like I've had a workout. Wow. Which you have. That is yeah. that is amazing. Yeah, which you just did. Yes. Please write in, let me know if you guys felt anything. So sorry, Aram, I just lost your voice. I'm back. Me do? Awesome. Yes, awesome. awesome. Sorry. Awesome. After, sorry, got disconnected. After Berlin, so I, was I didn't hear. Say, let's go ahead. I'm sorry? No, please say. Please say. I said let's go ahead and talk to some people. Yes, let's do that. Okay, great. 
All right, so please pick a number between 1 and 20, and I will unmute that person. Can you do? Yes. Uh Uh-oh. Can you hear me? I said, can you give me a number between 1 and 20 so I can unmute them? Oh, so sorry. 11. All right, number 11 it is. 316, area code, you are on. 316. This is me? Yeah, what's your name, dear? Oh, I'm Carolina. You, honey, your connection is not good. We can't hear you. Oh, do you hear me now? Do no. You hear me now? Yes, now we can. Thank you. No? Okay. So the hands free really wasn't wasn't working. So now you hear me? Yeah. We can okay. hear you very clearly. Oh. Wow. Uh number eleven. <laughs> and it's me. That's uh amazing. Um uh, hello Nidu. Uh, I I have um, I've been having a bloated belly for like for I'm forty eight uh, since I was a teenager, and um, I'm quite uh, skinny, too skinny, but I have some fat uh, in my belly. But it's not a problem. But the 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 bloated, uh, the being bloated, so that's not that good. Got it. And bloating is actually usually to do with anxiety and fear. Yeah. Uh, do you yeah. tend to worry? Yeah, for my whole life, yes. <laughs> okay. So that would be playing playing a role. And worry happens, you know, when when things have happened in our lives, when we have unresolved losses, we live in the fear of what could go wrong, what could be taken from us, when's the next shoe going to fall. So the tendency is to constantly be thinking of gloom and doom. We're going to change that. At least we're going to begin to change that today in like just a couple of seconds. On a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is not at all, and 10 is very high, how much is the bloating right now? Um, like 8. Got it. Eight. Three. Yeah, I'm going to give you a sentence. You're just going to say the sentence three times. And with bloating, one of the wonderful things with bloating, as in one of the ways that bloating leaves, is by burping. So if you burp, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. So three times, I just want you to say the sentence, it's not so bloated. It's not so bloated. It's not so bloated. It's not so bloated. And I could feel your stomach coming in, especially the yeah, lower I, I part. Not... I burped. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so where it was beautiful. Yeah, where it was eight. Yeah, where it was eight. How much is it? <laughs> the bloating was eight. How much is it now? I feel the same. Uh, um, is it? Uh, do I have to look at my belly or the feeling or where do I have to look? Either way, either way, whatever you want to look at. If you feel like it's the same, it's all right. Now, yes. three times, it's, just say this. It's just like it went to, to my to my uh, stomach. That's what I, okay. I'm feeling that and that I need to burp and burp. <laughs> Good. It, that's burp. what will bring the, yeah, because mm-hmm. bloating is always wind. And then the wind has to release. Now I'm going to do a one second alchemy for you. Just have a sip of water. Oh, I don't have water near. Is it okay? okay. And check and check now. Check again. Burping has it increased? Become more? Uh, less. It's, it's a different feeling. It's as if it could go. Um, out without burping, <laughs> like a smoother feeling. Nice. <laughs> That's what, okay, the one second alchemy was for that. Three times, last thing I want you to say is, it's not so worrying. 
It's not so worrying. It's not so worrying. It's not so worrying. And again, this time, your upper belly, I felt moving. Like in the previous one, I felt your lower belly trying to come in. And now I felt your upper belly wanting to come in. What did you feel? Uh, I feel my my chest is uh, as if it's come up to my chest. You mean you, did your chest rise or did the wind yes, come up to your chest? Mm, well, I'm still burping. <laughs> so, but the good, the, <laughs> like the good, the pressure, the pressure and the heat is like, it's like now, and now it's the more on my chest, so it came up. Okay, let me just release that for you. Good. Pressure and heat removed, cleared, and check. I'm feeling about the worrying, all this energy. I feel good feeling it in my head, like that. Um, yes, wind, society uh, wind, moving in, uh, very quick in my head, like the okay. stress. I'm yeah. just going to respond. I'm just going to take it out. Yeah, stress response. You're right. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to take it out from your head, and uh, three times, just say hello, kidneys. Hello, kidneys. Hello, kidneys. Hello, kidneys. How are you doing? I'm relaxing a little bit more, and I'm feeling burping now, right from my my um, uh, throat coming from. My Good. Throat. Good. Have some water. Stay on the call, and in the next few minutes, tell us how you're doing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Can you send us Thank a message you. on the webcast, please? That would be uh, great. On the webcast. Okay. Okay. Thank you so All much. Right. You're okay. Thank Bye-bye. you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye-bye. You. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was awesome. Great job. Great. And that was fantastic. Yeah. Right? And we didn't take five minutes as well. Like, I do speed speedster lightning sessions, which are only five minutes. But this wasn't even five minutes. And, and, and there was relief that immediately started showing. The work is continuing. In fact, it reminds me, there was Deborah. Deborah was one of my earliest women who came with a menopausal, tight belly, bloated, distended, Mm. and tight. And she went on record to say, this is, I cannot believe this has happened. I've lived with this belly for 30 years. And on, in, in our session itself, her belly shrunk, like physically shrunk physically shrunk from that the front and when she saw her profile it had physically shrunk from the side as well wow. it's that quick wow yeah you're just going to that say is these amazing words. yeah <laughs> let's take another caller really quick yes. and yes please 13 that is country code okay all right yeah that's also an international number country code Mm, four six. Hmm. Four six. Country code and then seven three six are the first three digits. Okay, moving on. Next number in line is two five zero area code. Two five zero, you're on. Hello, two five zero. What's going on, guys? Okay, now <laughs> moving on to the third person, 920 area code. You are on now. Hi, Nidhu. This is Linda. Um, Hi, yeah. Linda. Linda. Hi, sweetie. Both of you. <laughs> um, Hi. My, my problem Hello. is between the sternum and the belly button, and that's where I seem to hold it the most. And the the exercise you just put us through made me warm, but not like hot, hot. 
I'm still kind of a little cold. Um, but right in that area, I just can't seem to ever get that going down. And I think it's the liver, but I'm not sure. It could be. It could also be the spleen. And it okay. could be your solar plexus as well. You said it got warm. Now, tell me the sensation otherwise. When you say you store it there, is there a sense of tightness? Is there a sense of pressure? Yes. 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 It did get okay. tighter. I agree with that. Yes. It gets tighter. Okay. So that's normally anxiety. But when we live with anxiety for very long, then it becomes hot and warm, it starts turning into anger. Is there a tendency to be explosive? Like, without warning, you lose your head? No. Oh, good. So are you normally calm, even-tempered? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, then we're looking at anxiety more than we are taking a look at anger. So I just want you to say three times, it's not so tight. It's not so tight. It's not so tight. It's not so tight. Yeah, it felt like going okay. in and tightening up. <laughs> okay. Nice, right? And yeah. the moment you said that, I saw the layer, and the layer is not anxiety, it's overwhelm. I just want you to say it three times, it's not so overwhelming. It's not so overwhelming. It's not so overwhelming. It's not so overwhelming. I can feel something melting in that area. How are you feeling? Yeah, I I can I always pick up on what you say because I I've been with you for quite a while. Oh, thank you, thank you, Linda. I follow you on Facebook. Every time you say something, I go and I apply what you say because I know how your statements are so good at releasing different things in the body. So you are like an amazing person to me. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you so much. Yes. How is that section feeling now? A little better. I mean, not like 100%, but a little better. Nice. And what is the, on a scale of 0 to 10, how much is it now, the tightness or the the tension? About a 5 Okay, give me I'm doing the one second alchemy. One second. And check. Um still did about a five. Your, still about did a the five. Of, all right. Did the sides of your chest try to lift up? Did you lengthen yes. yourself in any way? Okay. Yes, because a little it's bit. trying. Yeah, it's trying. Give me one more second. And check. Yeah, that time it went to about a three. Nice. I And also when we have this tightness there, it can also happen because we've been slumping and slouching because then we end up putting more pressure. So the muscle memory is to be contracted there. So just say it's not so contracted three times. It's not so contracted. It's not so contracted. It's not so contracted. I do Something. feel... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Della. Um, I don't know. I think it slipped to it's about a two. Two, two and a half. Nice. Yeah. So it's still okay, there. Two and a half. Perfect posture. Perfect posture, perfect posture, perfect posture, perfect posture. You watch out for your posture, Linda, and this part will get, will get softer and balanced very quickly because uh, when our core is not strong, then the intercostal muscles which keep the ribs up tends to start slipping. And when we slip, our chest, and we're women, we have breath, the heaviness of the breath, the heaviness of the chest starts putting pressure on the solar plexus. So I feel very much like this has happened. Uh, this has happened again because of, because of the anxiety and the overwhelm. But the tendency has been to contract. Perhaps you hold yourself back in your work, in your relationship, 
perhaps you hold back from speaking, like something is asking you to not be fully out there, not fully lead your potential. Would that be correct? <laughs> yes. But it will it will sort itself out, Linda. It will sort itself out very rapidly. And check again now. Mm, still about a two. Yeah, there's still. Yeah. And check again. And check again. I did one more round. Mm. Still a two, Nidu. It's fine because I feel. I can feel your ribcage muscles trying to lift you up. So do it consciously. Just straighten your spine. Perfect posture. Excellent posture. Superb posture. Your oxygen is not going there enough because of the, 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 the bending down that's taken place from the top. Okay. Oh, it's so much softer now. I feel the softness of this may not be 100%, but it's so much softer. And like you said, you've dealt with it for a very long time. And today, yeah. in a few minutes, you have had it so much softer already. So keep with it, Linda. Listen to this part of the call again, and it will get stronger. You definitely want to do muscle work. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Both Thank of you. you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Nidu. You're very welcome, my dear. You're very welcome. Thank you, and best of luck. I We are really behind time, so I want to go ahead and talk about this fantastic offer that you have for us, Nidu. And let's go to orderjoy2020.com forward slash Nidu23. Or just press the um, the link that you have been provided. And that will um, take you to this page, Flatter Belly Boost. Make that midlife lab a thing of the past in seconds. No energy, no motivation, or bandwidth to exercise. No problem, because Nidu has the answer for you. All right, Nidu, I see all these amazing testimonials. My belly got sucked in immediately. Wonderful. My stiff lower back just loosened up instantly. Another person said, I did the exercise with words just now, and it's mad. I felt my stomach move and then massive shivers through my whole body. Um, and another person, I felt much more confident and an easier breathing sense, too. Uh, my, be my body is feeling cooler and my tummy feels lighter after the process. I have a strong inward pull-in belly that I don't get even when I work out. How awesome is that? And this just goes on and on. Um, and, uh, another person said, I want to let you know that I have reduced my weight recently from 56 kgs to 50 kgs. That's about 10 pounds and my clothes don't fit anymore. Woohoo. That's awesome. So, all right. So the, there's many, many testimonials like this on this page, but we are going to invite Nidu now to tell us about this awesome program and how we can also get these results. First, so sorry, first, you know, you taking up the package today, tomorrow, I think you have some time on Friday as well, means you're going to get these fast-acting bonuses. Fast-acting bonuses means you take action right now because, you know, the hardest step is always the first one. Your first step is already done. You've come on the call. Now take your second step and come for the package because what we're going to do is going to impact your entire future. It's not just about looking good within a few weeks or feeling a little better. The decrees, as you've heard, they're so simple. But because they're so simple, you want to be exposed to them. You know, when you learn a language, you have to practice the language. And our call, uh, the work we're going to be doing is about that practice. And it begins this Friday itself with your flatter belly money magnetism call. Like in one shot, you're going to get both. And I just want to say that flatter bellies are very attractive to money because we feel good and confident. And good and feeling good, feeling attractive, feeling confident, these are also very attractive energies for money. There is a power when you feel good in your core. 
And that power is required for you to attract money, keep money, handle money, manage money. So on Friday, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the flatter belly, money magnetism, money management call. And then from Monday onwards, via email, as well as on our Telegram community group, because remember, this sportsman spirit requires a sports team. Each of you all will be the other person's team. On our community group, which is the Telegram group, or via email if you don't get onto Telegram, and Telegram is a free-to-download app to use, you will receive every day one reminder for your warm-up. You will also receive how to make your own turbocharged slimming water. And turbocharged slimming water will take you barely one and a half minutes. You can make all your water aligned to the weight you want to achieve, as well as to metabolizing your fat faster. So your water will go to work with you as well. So you're going to get that reminder. You're going to get the reminder for a warm-up. You're going to get the reminder for that day's flatter belly decrease. You had some experience of it. When you receive it, you will receive it in text. You will receive it in poster. You just have to say it. Wherever you are, half asleep, you can say it. I mean, the warm-up, which is the exclamation mark, has two other levels. So you'll also be exposed to do stronger warm-up levels as we go on. And you can do this half asleep. You can just make that exclamation mark, do that warm-up, mentally recite the decrees or just whisper the decrees and allow the body to do the rest. I mean, that's the whole point, right? You want the workout results, but you don't have to force yourself to work out. So you're going to be getting decrees from Monday till 13th of February. So you're going to be together. We're going to be together for a while. And once we have completed Friday's call, we will meet for another call where we will work on the kinds of fat. I've given you a brief introduction to the kinds of fat we have, including the inflammatory fat, boredom fat, loneliness fat, unloved fat. We're going to work on that on much more detail. All calls require that you come on a slightly empty belly or eat much earlier because we will work out again. Today we did very five simple rounds. We will continue to do five more rounds, maybe six rounds, but you will work out on the call. You come, you lie down, you let the body respond. And all of this is part of a trial program, as in you're trying it out for a while. From Friday till 13th of February, we're going to be together. We're going to have two calls. We're going to meet almost every day on either our group or via email, where you're going to be getting the daily instructions. And then you can come for the three weeks beyond that. So your trial period has a pricing which is much, much lower than it normally is. Your trial period has a value of almost 900 USD, but it is available for 199 only. Even in these few days, even from, even from, for these two and a half weeks, you will be able to remember the decrees, you will be able to practice the decrees, and you will be able to continue what you have learned with the decrees. Meaning, not only will you be taken through it, you will also have and know enough to carry on on your own. Ideally, you would come for the upgrade, which you get as soon as you sign up for this package, you get the option for the upgrade as well. And the upgrade is for three more weeks, which means we'll have almost four, four and a half weeks together, a month together, and that is a good time to spend in connecting to your body, in developing your muscle, in forming the belly, and, and having much, much more energy than when you started. Whether it is, like Linda said, right, her section is the, was the solar plexus, 
for, uh, I'm so sorry, I didn't get the first person's name. For her, it was a little lower. For you, it could be even lower. And depending on the levels of flabbiness and whether, <clears throat> so sorry, whether the belly is protruding or has expanded, you will have different body shape by the time we are done. You will feel stronger, way, lighter, was, uh, younger. Sorry. Name, yeah. Her name is Carolina, and actually she just messaged saying, Dear Irma Nadu, I am still burping and feeling lots of healing in my head for all my stresses. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Much love. That was Fantastic. Carolina from Carolina. Holland. Carolina yeah. from Holland. You know, the work continues. You've come on this call. Everything you've experienced on this call will continue for quite some time. You will wake up tomorrow and you will feel a difference in the body. If you're already close to bedtime, have a glass of water, go to sleep. When you wake up, send us an email, tell us how you're doing. It's, it's very simple. It's very easy. There's nothing faster than this in the world. All you need is the team that will support you through this. Every, Beautiful. Every, yeah, everybody needs somebody in their corner. And when you have a team, you have all of us in your corner. So you will achieve mm. results. And I see some people that have reported actually a lot of, actually many people that have reported um, money gain as well as they went through the program. And I'm so grateful that you offered this program to our listeners at such a deep discount because even for this two-week period, it is typically for almost $1,000 and you're getting it for less than 200 That is a steal, you guys. It's a steal. Um, did you talk about the tur turbocharged slimming water bottle? Yes. There, that you will get okay. this. You will get this. Yeah, the moment you join, you will have this. You will be able to make your own you know, turbocharge. I, I can tell you that, yeah, I've seen these, uh, the slimming water charged bottles being sold for $50 online. I, I don't yeah. know if you guys have seen yeah. the ads. I always yes. get shown those ads. And um, we're also getting the mega bonus, which is the flatter belly and money magnetism. And, um, and these are the bonus decrees from 30th of January to 4th of February. So this is pretty much right around the corner, you guys. So jump in now, and you will be able to start feeling like a new you in about two weeks. How awesome is that? I can't Absolutely. wait. I can't wait to get started. And thank you so much for reminding me of that as well, Aram, because, you know, when when you have worked on one thing, you have worked on everything. Your health mm. is your wealth. And therefore, when your health is better, which it will definitely be, your wealth also starts getting better. Like one of the things that I ask everybody to look out for while doing this work, while, while gauging your progress on how your clothes are fitting, how you are feeling, how your energy levels are, I also ask them to check what's happening with money. Are you getting more clients? Mm. Are you getting more work? Are you getting more opportunities? Are you getting more gifts? Are you getting more compliments? Because compliments and money are the same thing. You're receiving Beautiful. increases because your health mm. is getting better. And it begins in the belly. Even if your goal is weight release and weight shedding, first, your belly has to digest better. When you can digest better, your your health, your weight release goals will also happen faster. In fact, I love that. Again, that is so right. Yeah, that is so amazing, ahead, right? Please. It's the missing link. Like for a lot of us, we do go on diets, but without realizing that we're going on a diet because we're actually working with the stomach. We're actually oh. working with the belly. It all begins in the belly. The belly is one place where you take action. Your willpower is in your belly. So a flabby belly also means that you might have great ideas, but you won't put them into action. 
So as your belly is also forming up, you'll find yourself putting yourself out there, putting your ideas into reality as well. The belly is also the part that empowers the throat. When your belly is better, you speak better. You are more articulate. You are more clear. You ask better. And you know what they say in the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. Ask and ye shall receive. So you ask Beautiful. better, I therefore love you that. will also receive better. And that's why it may, it makes so much sense why people are reporting such amazing results from going through this program. And I want to announce the link really quickly because we are out of time on this call. Orderjoy2020.com forward slash Nidu23. You all should have the link either in the webcast or in the emails that were sent to you. A phenomenal program available to you at a deeply discounted rate for right now. And then those of you that feel called, once you check out, you will get an invitation to see if you want to uh, go in deeper with Nidu. Um, or we can send it to you later in email, whichever works for you. All right, my dear, this was so much fun as always. And thank you so much because this is so needed. I can't wait to get started and report my results. I'm sure many of our listeners are going to be joining us too, and it'll be a fun group. So thank you so much, Nidu, for everything that you do, my dear. You are such an amazing, beautiful star of light. So thank you so much and continue to shine. Thank you so much, Aram. Thank you so much. And before I say bye to everybody, I'm just going to remind you that that you can have results or excuses, not both. And that was given mm. to us by Arnold Schwarzenegger, another another great inspiration for how he has handled his body and how he has grown in the world. But thank you so much, everybody. I'm looking forward, looking forward, looking forward to seeing you on the group or yes. on the email. Big love. You big know, I hug. wanna mm. I wanna Yeah. I wanna leave everybody with something I tell I keep this has been my mantra for the last few years that I am my biggest investment. So same thing. You can if you wanna have results, you can't invest in yourself with excuses. So invest in yourself for results and they will be yours. So lots and lots of love to you, Nidu, and to all of our wonderful listeners. A big hug. Thank you so much for being here. Take care for now, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Aram. Namaste from India.